Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from our medieval village called Rovitz. Last episode we built two houses and today we are starting off with a new house which is going to be a carpenter. So the carpenter's building is what you're watching right now and it's a divided building. We have this whitewash stone part and then the wooden part as well uh, where we have a little shop in the wooden part and then the family lives mainly in the whitewash part or the stone part. In the back we're going to have a massive backyard for creating all this kind of carpentry which is going to be shared with a general store from the last episode. And then we move on to the next building, which is going to be the church of the village here. The church stands on top of the hill behind its building and it's a small, white, simple church. It's very much inspired by reference pictures taken from Kingdom Come Deliverance and also actual churches back from the medieval times in Bohemia. What I really like about the church is how it stands out, how bright it is and kind of overlooks everything as well as the graveyard we have uh, on the back side of it and a little apple orchard just to create some green space within the village. Just a quick reminder that if you enjoy my content please do hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't. It tells YouTube that you know what, Vigoman's content is alright uh, and it just shows me that you guys like what I do. And then the final building for today's episode is going to be the final building within like the middle center of the village here and it's a stonemason which is really cool. I really had a fun time trying to present how a stone worker would work in Minecraft using the different blocks and tools and just creating a work environment that looks somewhat realistic. The main building is mostly wooden but has a stone foundation uh, which has a little bit of a basement for some simple storage while the entire housing itself is built on top of that and in the back we have a simple tool shed uh, for storing all the equipment you need to do the stone cutting and shaping and all that kind of stuff. For this video I tried a new format where I do more of a progress update as we go, present one building and then move on to the next one. So if you like that sort of format please do let me know down below and tell me if there's any way I can improve on this or if you'd rather have me make it the old fashioned way. But that's all the progress for today's episode, let's move into a first person point of view section here so we can look at what we actually have built. Just look at this, I love this place so far, I'm having such a fun time working with this new style here, it's somewhat new to me, I have done similar in the past, but uh, using the newest version of Conquest 3 4 really allows me to really delve into the style here and be creative, and it's been such a nice relief for me, and uh, a way of getting a break from everything else that is happening, so I really hope that you enjoy it as much as I do, even though I doubt you do, because that would be pretty insane, but let's move on to what we have done for today's episode. Uh, the first building I showed off was this one which is the carpenter. You can see the church in the back and then the stonemason. You can see the little yards. Look at all this landscaping. I'm having such a fun time with this uh, for the um, graveyard here as well and then a the little apple orchard over here. It's just amazing. I love it. I love it so much playing with this. Anyway, let's get into the buildings here. So this one um, has this uh, wooden section and then the stone section. And as mentioned, the wooden section is where we have like the business side of things. Um, so this is where we have uh, where we can come in and buy stuff from the carpenter, like some simple chests, um, things made out of wood, wheels, uh, mostly chairs tables and stuff like that. I had a feeling, yep, I, I had a feeling I forgot about this room. I wasn't sure when I started recording. Uh, looks like I have to go back and fix this uh, before I start the next episode. But yeah, uh, here's going to be like some storage and stuff. And then from here we can go into like the house itself, uh, which you can also be accessed from the back, like so. So I'm going to show you the backside uh, in just a little bit. So in here we have the family living room, very like crowded, dense, uh, tight spaces, but I love it. Uh, we have a big oven here for the kitchen, look at that, and uh, some storage and a little like some cabinets for the kitchen and all that stuff, and then a little area to sit here and eat. Not too bad. Uh, and then a little like living room almost, so this would be like if you have friends over you can bring them in here and we could sit and just chat and stuff. And then we can go up 
and uh, we can go this way or we can go through this little gate here and get on top of the wooden section uh, in here we have uh, actually let's go this way first because this is like the main section here so here we have the double bed for the parents and then we also have this simple like a bigger crib i guess for like the children so you could have like <laughs> three or four maybe just squeezed in here like that and depending on how many children they have a little desk and then some storage like this along the sides nothing too fancy and then in here we actually have a little guest room uh, so here we have a bed it's not really made up right now but uh, you could like like stay here uh, if we're visiting and then there's also another bed for uh, the kids uh, if they need it looks like this family here is quite big so why not and then in the back uh, we have some storage area for like chests some yeah clothing as you can see hanging here um, all kind of different stuff, I guess. Some barrels, probably some beer maybe, or wine, or just other stuff. So yeah, that is like the top of this building here. Let's go out and take a quick look at the backyard. I really like this backyard here. Because uh, what we have is like this carpentry section here. Um, with some planks, we have things being made, like some simple stools, um, tubs. And here we just have the materials laying on the ground like that. Uh, and I love just playing with these trees. They're a pain. I probably spent as much time on this tree as I did with the rest of this place. But it does add a lot to the place. Uh, and then we have a little uh, farm here for like some private harvesting. Some beans, uh, spices, cabbage, you know. Whatever you really need here. And you can go alongside here. You can see it's kind of elevated like that. Looks pretty fancy. Uh, and this connects to the main street over here. Just like that cozy little narrow alleyway here uh, and then over here we also have like connection to the general store which we did the last episode i just finished this off with a little field here in the back a small birch tree over here um and you can actually go all the way through and get into the back street here so that's quite fancy and that actually leads us straight into the church perfect didn't even plan that uh so here we actually have like just a little garden park thing we have some apple trees uh just for the community i think uh, i don't think i want anyone to harvest these let me know May maybe there's some common things in medieval times that you weren't making public areas <laughs> i don't know uh, and then a big oak tree here in the back and it just kind of frames the church pretty well and i'm actually gonna change the time so i think oh said 2000 is a really nice time for the church Look at that beauty. Um, and that leads us over to here. We have a little wall surrounding the entire church. I guess they could block this off if they had to. Um, but also just kind of encloses a graveyard and stuff. So we can come in here. Down there is a the graveyard. In here is the church itself. Uh, very simple. But from what I found during my research and references... Uh, medieval churches was, were really really empty like the chairs were like implemented into the later like 16 1700 and became common so I think it was yeah this church is probably too early for that uh, so it's just open spot here we have this little um, yeah what do you call this I can't remember uh, and then in the back we have a little like library for the priest just some rolls you can sit here and read and write and stuff take notes uh, and prepare the ceremony i think we can go over here uh here we have um yeah just like some back stuff here we have like the altar wine uh, i guess that's what you call it the wine used in the ceremonies and some potions oils stuff that's going to be needed for the ceremonies up here we have a little area for the priest to work as well and then up here we have the bell inside the bell tower makes sense i think uh, and that is pretty much the interior of the church here so if we just uh, continue out i really like the gradients on the wall here as well uh, and the ceiling is pretty fancy i like that so if you just continue over here we're going to the um, the graveyard so we have some simple um, like just wooden gravestones or crosses like that or even bigger gravestones like these ones really depending on who's died here 
uh, and it's very messy, it's overgrown, it's not really well maintained, uh, but it's not the richest village. As you can see, the church is also seen better days and uh, and stuff, so yeah, just trying to sell, sell a story here somewhat. So you can see there's some graves here and there just shattered over this place, but it's very overgrown and old and yeah, not very well maintained. And from here we can continue walking over here and we get to the stonemason. Uh, very, very big area in the front here. So it's like just, yeah, weeds and rushes and stuff growing. I'm adding these bits of stone here to add some points of interest in the landscape. I did that um, over here as well. And I'm going to continue doing that just to uh, add some variation to the landscape because it is very flat in here. So, we have a little rock here, big rock or mountain, whatever. And here we can see like some parts of the stone mace, masonry, I guess. So we have big blocks of stone and something being carved out like that. And some loose rocks laying on the ground. And uh, also bigger blocks and this little use the stone cutter from vanilla Minecraft. And there's also more stuff over here. So, uh, you had a stone cutter again. Here we're carving a big head. Maybe use in the church or something, you know, makes sense. Uh, and I also kind of wanted a lot of the gravestones to come from here. So it's very conveniently placed right next to it. So you don't have to travel too far. And then here we have uh, the tool shed for um, the stonemason. Nothing too fancy, but it gets the job done, you know. Uh, so let's move over here. Uh, actually, let's check out the little basement here. So. Simple stuff, storing some private stuff, but also stones. Here we have like this cart. I really like this design here. Just traveling out blocks or preparing blocks for for being carved. Uh, and let's change the time again. So we can see this building in its best light, I guess. Um, yeah, so we can actually enter it from the back here. So you walk up along here. And then we have the door to get into the building here. And uh, before we do that, I just want to show you a little outhouse here to do the important stuff but yeah here we have the interior so we have the kitchen and uh, some sitting areas and stuff here in the front or the, the first thing you enter firewood along the wall here and then directly into the tool shed from here which is very convenient there's a ladder going upstairs we're gonna check that out uh, and over here we have the living room so uh, I guess you would invite people over here or just spend some time here. There's some tables and chairs um, and some cupboards, a little painting even. It looks a little bit too fancy for my liking. I would probably make this a little less fancy, but it just looks too empty if you do that. So I try to find a balance of making it look good as well as realistic. Because um, honestly, it's probably a little over the top right now. But let's check up. Check out the upstairs, climb up the ladder. Up here we have a lot of storage. As you can see, we have some beds. Um, a small bed for the parents, so they probably sleep very, very tightly in that one. And then we have um, some for the kids. You can just, yeah, put them side by side here. Uh, just some clothes hanging, storage, all that kind of stuff. And that, my friends, is all we got done for episode 2 of Rowids. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vico Man, and I'm out.